Sogdiana is getting bigger and bigger, and uh, we thought of it about of expanding again, despite the fact we have recently uh, vassalized um, Kashkari. Yes, a new Ukshid or Satrapi that we've made, even though the man is mad as heck, but he does appreciate the elect of monarchy succession. Does you get to be, you know, another guy who gets to elect? And just based on your skills, perhaps I can make you marshal over my son who lives, you know, over there in an empty place of Chach. Yeah, only Chach and nothing else in the steps. When I gave my uh, Shahzada, which is, you know, Prince, and Shadok is Princess. That's in Iranian terms. Um, now, just recently, um, it's like, yes, we, uh, put a son there. So, guys like, you know, the Nestorian Christian boy and my son here, since they're count levels, they don't get to vote. Only the satraps do. Or the shit. So they vote, he votes, and soon he will cast his vote. Only one votes for himself, because... Who knows? There, there is a reason why. No need to guess. They could tell you why. You like power? You trust your... You dislike him? Well, past his prime. Well, he's 45, and I'm 64, so... Yeah, maybe past his prime sounds about right. But, um, let me tell you. I don't think he'll have that many years like I put him. And my grandson, who's 22, it currently has syphilis. But I hope he can get through this. Also, mind you, that means all my grandchildren now live in Chach. Since I put my son over there. But we will expand again one more time, despite the fact I've been fighting a lot. And... But well, this is uh, going to be my last war, I swear. Well, then again... Man, I'm such a terrible liar. Because I would love to get up to parts of uh, Sir Daya. So we can appoint an another Satrap. Maybe you. So, okay, well, I mean, this one is eventually going to become independent. Whenever the old Amir dies and whatnot. Unless Bamiyan gets ahead of it. But we do not desire taking parts of Tibet. We got all these Sogdian territories. At least as far as I'm concerned. Except for that one. And soon we will be moving up to Tokarian territory. Which our next war is to vassalize this petty Shadam who only has six troops because these guys, um, Pechenegs, they moved in and conquered the region. So now that we'll be vassalizing him, that also means he'll still be working for the Pechenegs. And if they cause problems, oh well, I'll get rid of them later. That depends on how the election goes. And plus, since he's the suzerain, he could intervene, but they won't bring up that many. may never know that we would form the Tehran Empire, which is like a completely different goal for the Sogdians instead of go down there and go for the Persian Empire, but I think the current Satrapi's got this. Once they vassalize these guys, then uh, maybe we should continue expansion against the Zulbil Shadim, which can be a powerful lot, but I would be happy to assist them in some way. Oh, okay, that's two wars planned. Read them in a very easy vassalization war, and then fight these guys to take parts of third dog. One's trouble, one's a city. Interesting. So let's do it. Not waste any more time. Well, we do have a non-aggression pact. Do we now? So what kind of relations we had in the past? Oh, it does not matter. 
we come to vassalize you before we even think of any non-aggressive pacts. Just taking advantage of the prestige. Hey, since these guys are so small, is it possible to vassalize them? No? Okay. Oh, I remember. It says it here. Has to be of either your religion or your culture, so you're on here. But I think these guys are too big to be vassalized, right? Well, let's vassalize the whole damn region. But, there's a problem with that. It's like, okay, this is what I want. We're just only going to vassalize this area, and that's that. Don't go beyond over there. And the reason is because we're a young Shadam expanding too fast, and we don't have the levies to keep up with the growth. So, we will take one more area, and possibly up there, which it'll be sogged in, so they can be remain loyal. And if those Shaka Buddhists um, start going up against you in some way, we'll just have to wait for them to give them a righteous imprisonment, unless they betray the nation, kick them out, and replace them with our Sogdian commanders, Sogdian Zoroastrian. One more vassalization. But, you know, going way up there would be well out of our way. Not to mention, you know, you're inviting more Buddhists. That makes the Buddhists the majority of Sogdiana. Head up to Kashka. I'm an old woman, so this could be my last war. I mean these defense packs. It's another reason. As we be building more castle walls. Yeah, you bring your friends. The Kotanis. Much. Let me see. Is the steward at work? Yes, they're still building, building spacing. Let's just build castle towns, spend money to make more money. While we are building a trade post in Kashka, and once we take that over, we will build another trade post there. Because there isn't any at the moment. Actually, one's currently in building. Because that Tengri took it. I'll be sure to destroy that and build one for ourselves. Great famine's finally over and the Middle Kingdom is finally stable. That means now the Silk Road is unaffected, so therefore let the silk money flow. Alright. course right on our back door just when we were in the middle of camping. It's only six guys take them on we'll follow you behind <laughs> I'm a 64 year old woman and nobody can beat me hell I don't think I'm ever wounded during this entire life This fence pact is, is ended for now. Again, okay, after this, then consider a holy war against them for this region. So we can create another satrapy for the sun here. How about it? Who did you vote for? You haven't voted yet. You want to be on a council? 
I said, do you want to be on the council? Even though you're not a... Well, you are a commander of ours. But you ain't got no skills. So putting you in there. He's not malcontent. So, it's okay. There's not much holdings. These are very easy to take. And should any uh, enemy army approach us, we'll deal with them too. While they get to loot the place. Hope these savages don't destroy a city. Okay, we're taking this over next. We still got our holy warriors. Awful lot of rivers. Despite the fact that it's a notorious desert. Very high learning. We can recruit him, but if only we could recruit him, make him a Zoroastrian, and then um, we have ourselves <laughs> of a very wise Mobad. But he's zealous. So there's not much money in you. Stay put. You may never know. Yeah. Northern route is all plains. Down here, all desert. <laughs> Better hurry up and finish that. Take those two places and fight the enemy. It's the Kultanis. Yeah, it's a bit of hills up here. The Silk Trade Post is finished. To prove upon that, then we make some more money. Still bringing you in the garden. We got one of the Marzabans. He could pay. How much? 70. We'll let you out of here because we like money. Oh yeah, we're gonna run them over. This one has three holdings. <laughs> Chief's dead. Well, that's in Fergana. Tarkun's take it over. Raiders and Sarmacan and they destroyed the city. Bastards! Tell you what, here's another thing we could build and fast. 
castle fortifications just to keep raiders out for a while. Just slow them down. From all the way over there. On the other side of the Himalayas. No joy. Break that trade post down simply for the sake of it. Because we'll rebuild it under our flag and not anyone else's. Now you serve under us. And return to Samarkand as fast as we can. We're delaying them a little. Another 67 days to build up another fort level. Thank goodness for that stone quarry that the Emir left us long ago. We should have taken good care of Kiva. Unless we want to have a future subtrap of Kiva to be represented by the Nestorian Christians. What are they up to? Because I'm always afraid of these guys. And Sabir and the and then... Oh, unrelated issue. Shit, another holy war. And there's a conquest. And which we've said before and we said again, Khorasan must not fall. The Zoroastrian holy site. These guys are at it again. And what is the Caliphate doing? Ended in white peace. And, uh, he's on a pilgrimage. On a Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. Very well. There'll be no one to stop us this time. So we'll just. No, no, no. Get the summer can as fast as you can. And it will form up here. While well, our people build these four cases fast, which will be done in a couple of weeks. Just to buy us a bit of time. Remember, when I die, my son will continue the good fight. We're slowing him down a little. I think we will get there in time. If only we have organizers. If anyone can join. Okay. I got something. How about in the realm? Like just inside Sogdian. Is there anyone that's an organizer or something similar? Doesn't look like it. Actually, there's one. But that's female, and we can't appoint female commanders because we don't have such a law for that. Actually, there is a man, but he's a Muslim who serves as Grand Vizier of Kotal. But he's already married to a 
Salty and Zoroastrian. No, Persian Zoroastrian, excuse me. I'm like, tell you what. I can't invite you to court because it's not in a lesser union and the same court as a spouse. It's too bad we can't, you know, persuade them to get them over here. Got yourself some mercenaries. That better be well spent. I donated you a sword. Yeah, we built our defenses pretty fast. But we can't spend any more because we're saving that money for the war effort down there. Come on, hurry! Our defenders are not doing too well. The morale's up a little. I'm gonna split my prayer meditation before the, the battle. I have a newfound respect for the hermits of old. Oh, my time spent fasting and praying has closed them to good. Ahura Mazda has helped me strengthen my mind. You know, in actuality, in Zoroastrianism, they're against fasting. Because that is a form of asceticism. And Zoroastrianism rejects asceticism. That's not what they do. But I strive to be the result to be a better woman. Wish I was diligent. Kicking the Raiders in. But since we're joining on the side of defenders, the vassal levies raised penalty will go down a little. Crud. I guess we'll fight these guys then. If they lose a count, they don't lose a count. Because these guys are strong. Post claim. Oh boy. But they don't have that much force. And you got raiders. brought a friend with you. Well, we'll defeat them too. Call the goldsmith. Hmm. Just a low-born Kurdish um, Zoroastrian woman. Even though it says you will not marry and you already have a child. That's heir to William. I guess it's one of those events where, you know, he was trying to, you know, create some crown jewels until he solves this one and tells you, get out of my court. And there he fled, bringing that Kurdish woman along to Sogdian. Should be easy to take. <laughs> Acceptable losses. Now we're going to take it to them. But I don't think it's possible we can liberate these, this area, can we? They'll have that handled soon and we'll fight them too. That's so. The 
marriage between Hormod, Farizan, and Khosro and Pavade. They still get along. Seems some my interest in Christendom has come to the attention of one of its practitioners, Woodrow. We met and had the most fruitful discussions about theology and other matters. Persian historian who was betrothed to uh, the Mars of Annabelle. Good thing. Yeah, we shouldn't be here. It's not enough room for all of us, and it's going to take a long time for us to get out, so we will lose troops. And we lost one of our old uh, holy commanders. But we do have another, and it's an older one. And these raiders now want to get the Histan. Maybe the county, not the whole satrapy, right? Otherwise, that's going to cause big problems of separation. These raiders are just getting more bold and dangerous. going through Persia is just the long walks. If we can capture the Emir, great. Someone got him. It's you, the duelist. We can catch these guys too. Yeah, you got too much going on. But remember, there is is Hindu, which isn't any better. Because you cannot make marriage alliances with Hindus. Yeah, we're going up there, no matter what. be the last friends that I make for my passing. Little money from resources and the silk. Another Herbat friend. You are gonna let these raiders take your country? Can't allow that. Oh, anyone that can pay up. Because we need more money. Keep it going. And I guess they're gonna go fight these guys now. Retake the territories. 
while we work on down here. Hey, organizer. I'm gonna make you commander. Because <laughs> all of our old ones are dying out. We're not fighting at the moment, but we can get you ready. Oh, wait a minute. Just hang on. No, 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 no. Just remain idle. Come serve under us. That's for wartime circumstances. <laughs> Catch and hold him for Sir Dyer. I like your thinking, son, but... And there's a Buddhist uprising over this single county. Oh, they'll be free eventually. Yeah, they got too much going on. How many troops you'll be bringing? 124. Yeah, I don't know about that. But that's that, but hopefully you'll get it handled. For me one, they're gonna go fight against this host. Which they're causing quite a bit of trouble. Not good. But we'll find them sooner. And nothing we can do about these raiders unless, um, we can raise our army since we're, you know, starting to lose a bit more men these days. So that's what this is for. When you remember the fighters go. Let the uprising continue. This would benefit us. It's mountains, so he knows the plains and the mountains is my son. You'll be serving there despite the fact that I'm um, taken away from your position. You're more needed. You're better needed elsewhere. That's, there's the sense for you. Hopefully we can catch these guys. Without the need of a organizer. Let's say, hey, what say that we can kill this guy? Because, no, fortunately not. And he's got himself a, a Hindu son. Matrilano married to a Hindu. That's why. Be 
beating the heck out of their out on. Holy fat man, that's killing us. Ninety-eight percent war score. And you'll be dealing with the raiders, son. You've been winning some duels, but I've yet to see you have battlefield experience. Goodness, you're all separated. Do you really want to lose to these guys? Caliphate on a march. And they're still expanding into parts of India, which I would rather see them expand into Arabia. But they're taking advantage of the weak Indian kingdoms. I would rather see them take on the Abbasids. Because that would definitely benefit the Zoroastrians in some way. Again, you are the masters of the mountain. Well, it was bound to happen. Banebshen Roxana ascended to heaven at age 67. She died a natural death. Known to be kind, few had a bad word to say about her. A godly woman. Roxana is with Bahura Mazda now. Yeah. Let's have a moment for another member of Roxana, who was this young girl born and raised in Bukhara two years after the, the Muslim conquest of Transoxiana, later to be known as Sogdiana to the Sogdians, in which originally she wanted to cooperate with the, with the Emir, um, in which we thought we could establish friendly relations as a way of how we use the expression Sogdian hospitality, but they abused that hospitality and and this hurling of insults in which they became rivals. And this rivalry um, is what led to Sogdian freedom, a fight for freedom, which lasted for a couple of years until... Um, Recently, as 802, they became free, and now nearly 20 years later, after the, the freedom and the unification of the Sogdian peoples and the expansion to other areas, um, Roxana, at least, she died a natural death. There was never a scar in her body, and she was undefeated in duels, but not in battles, such as, you know, nomadic. And now, Shah Sassan, surrounded by enemies and rivals, we hope that Shassan's rule is not struck short by the means of a dagger in the back. Long live Shah Sassan, who is 49 years old. They're gone! Let me see. You're a member of the Sand Pit. Oh, good. But you're a novice at this point. Be fat and dull. So, time to follow the mother's footsteps. Hey, welcome back, Tarkun. Well, Shah Sassan, with his rule began, there's a bit of problems here. One, you know, him being dull-minded, he's no good of diplomacy nor intrigue. His martial skill is so high, which gives us the impression that, that he only understands the sword. That's his only skill. Now, Hormoz, who is the next heir, but he is great pox. And I don't want to vote for him. I would rather vote for Khosrow, who's a bit younger, although he's a lunatic, but it's better than nothing. And if I live ten years, then maybe we could change the magnetic cognatic, in which, you know, women get to, you know, have a position to rule. 
Well, these raiders are going to get off that easy. And plus, there's this other war going on. Which I will lead my uh, son over there. He's already on his way. He will take over that region. Which it'll be easy. Plus, this war is about to be over for the other front. And fresh troops will be coming. Now all I need is a loyalist advisor. Who could that be? There's only one. Danush, just some courtier who is the formerly an Islamic jurist. He's shrewd minded. And they call him Dry Throat. Hmm. Yeah. Why do they call you that? You have a hard diet and you are a chattermouth. Hmm. That's why they call you Dry Throat. Because you talk too much that you hardly have time to drink. We better get this thing sorted out. Tell you what. Ah, oh, you're a little old. Okay. Who's the youngest? Come on. Tarkun is already the Uxie slash subtrap. Maybe Freedun. Or Hormos. Or Cos Cosros. He's not a commander, so I will give him Chach after the conflict. Right, let's get the sorted out first before we think of anything else. Want to be the Chancellor? You got it. For Coltan. And to be the Steward? Well, I'm going to give it to him. We're going to get together, you and I. I'll give you a few honorary things. Just to up the opinion a bit more. So, apply that to all vassals. Dash Howood Sam is, um, doesn't like me very much. Because, you know, he's envious and wants to be in the council. Yeah, this could, this could be some problems. And that man... Everybody wants to be in the council, they're all envious. Envious people are the worst. Not everybody can be on the council. Change my mind. I'll even put some low skilled. Malcontent too. Well, you can't please everybody, and if they got a problem with that, vote. You have the power to vote, alright? If you got a problem with me, just cast your vote on whoever you want to rule. This is my mother's sword. Um, it must belong to Beneb Shen Roxana, therefore. Shape it's not in better shape. I'll pay to maintain it. I just remembered something regarding my mother. Um, one moment, please. And the siege has already begun for this front, which should be down momentarily. Don't worry, you got this handled. All we need to do is take this area. And since my diplomacy skills so low, I'm, it's going to be hard to invite some talented people into our realm. Who else? Two righteous in prison. Should he act incompetent towards me, we'll have him arrested, but then again, we can't get back here in time. It's going to be a long march with a lot of problems. I need to give away a bit of that domain size, particularly up there. Let's finish the war. Finish what Mother was in the middle of. War scores at 100%. Let's go home. 
I couldn't get back to the front line. Also, uh, I just remembered something. It's time to perform a sky burial. As my mother is there, um, it falls upon me to bring her to the mountains. She will be offered to the birds of prey, and in death she will generously share her flesh with all living creatures. May her spirit soar into the heavens. I shall take her to the mountains myself. The sky burial is prepared. At least we control the mountain regions in order to do so. I'll be back. Just gotta do this sacred duty. On my way towards the mountains, a party runs into a small storm with heavy rain. The rain makes the earth soft and the air cold. Am I patient? No, I'm not. Here's a chance. Let us find shelter till it passes. Not patient enough. After reaching the mountains, I carefully place the body in what I deem a good location. I can already hear the vultures soaring above me to perform necessary rituals. When I start to make my way back down, it doesn't take long until the vultures begin to tear at the flesh of both beak and claw. You are with Zervan now. Or better yet, as it was said in the little eulogy, that Roxana is with Ahura Mazda. At least she spent her last year studying the Gothas, so I'm sure she fully understands Zoroastrianism. Even though she wasn't, you know, a very religious person in these matters. Oh yeah, take the city. Should be easy. Is it possible we can join your war with that adventure conquest? Yes, we can. We shall have them dealt with. And quickly, because they're winning. Alright. Get them moving. Fast. Oh, no. I think it may be too late. For Dihistan, it'll fall. So that means only Coruscant. Alright, let's go over there. Too bad we can't assassinate you. Because I ain't got no intrigue skill. One hundred percent war score. This doesn't look good for the Zoroastrian. What a merry face surrounded by my friends and loved ones. I feel thirst coming on. Page, more wine. Would that be Page Kosro because... Oh, no, no, no. Page was well, tier one. And this is second tier. Ah, that's the stuff. Poison! My body's growing numb. But as my sight fades, I died loudly cursing my killer's name. A million deaths for Exed Sagarak. That damn lunatic. I had him assigned in the front line. For short, Shah Assassin has ascended to heaven in age 49. He was murdered on the orders of a uh, Paravneshe. Oh, I know her. Oh, yeah. Shah Assassin was known to be gluttonous. He spent his days trying to save his um, um, don abominable appetite. A wicked man. He will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. Now we got Shah Khosro. Being a stark, raving lunatic and deranged madman, the only one who can help Kosro's rule is a Hurumazda. Long live Shah Kosro. Yeah, who's serving up in the northern front line. But now the problem with him... Um... Uh, the problem with him is, um... Like, well, since it's too late now, I guess you all have to go up there. By any means. At least I'm slightly better skilled than my predecessor. 
Now I have to perform the sky burial. Whoops, son, it's time for you to join mother. How long did his reign last? He was elected on November 23rd, and then he was murdered on March 19th. That's a four, that's a, just about a four month reign at Shah. Doesn't help that I'm a lunatic. Brother Hormones is not a good contender for that. And I bear no children of my own. I guess I'll take it in months myself, but... There's people out there. Yeah. Spy Master. And we know who murdered my brother. Her. My wife. Yeah, as soon as I said my wife, I hear dun 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 going on in my head. My wife killed my brother. Father, excuse me. Um, I'm much younger than my friends. We gotta stop. I mean, assassinating her back won't do any good because I don't want to be a known murderer. My grandmother was. But. What do the vassals think, as far as opinion of predecessor? Well, some liked them, some didn't, but, and the rivals, they'll be dealt with. Matter of fact, they can be dealt with. Oh, hang on, I got a plan. But first, perform the sky burial. Oh, and I should cast my vote. In case of an assassination, it has to be my dynasty. I know you're a little sick, but um, and I'm not too fond of hormones, so. How about Tarkun? There's some really jealous people out here. And those that want to be in the council. No loyalists, so just pick a pragmatist, any pragmatist. Or somebody that wants to be in a council who is an envious fool. Yeah, these two guys are in it together. I'll just give it to some herbad for now. Yeah, that's a fatal mistake. Don't have a rival spy master. We've got to replace someone more confident. Mew the Chaste. Shall be you. You know, you're having a bit of a rash. I'll start sympathizing with you because at least you're the nicer of the two. Raptus did nothing wrong. We know he did. But he's one of our commanders. But don't worry, vengeance will be mine one day. As I will get a patron angel. Okay, but um, the spirit of serenity. Just up a bit of learning, cause serenity now. Please, I'm a lunatic. Oh, that's why he became a lunatic. It's cause sometimes paranoia can lead to lunacy. I'm likely to be assassinated before then. But at least we'll elect someone younger and hopefully more sane. It's 
since I have a martial education, I might as well switch the focus to um, war for now. And got to have, ch well, the children part, however, I still need to get rid of my wife. And she's past childbearing age, too. That doesn't help it either. Hey, I got an idea. Just finish the war first before we can sell on these matters. Now we got to do it quickly. Peasant revolt. All right, assassin. You're with Zoraster now. Uh. Holy Commander lost. We're just losing good commanders these days. Well, good news and bad news. How much? You'll do. Good news is, well... I was about to say, well, they took these, then. Where's your captain? Oh, it's down there. So now you got these guys in here. That also means, not only they looted the place, that could also mean they now own the gold mines, making it less prosperous. And if you ever want to revoke them, we'll be happy to help out. I continue to follow the tradition of joining the sand pits because really need there's room for improvement. No, no, no! I made a mistake. Hang on, I'll be back. Return in July. Just hang on. It's another part of the plan I got. And this will solve all problems, hopefully. So, we got a peasant revolt, and there's a Buddhist uprising that's still ongoing. Don't fight the Buddhists. Stop! Halt! Raiders and then peasants fighting each other. We're gonna beat them to it first. This is our war. It's for that territory. Bye-bye, you envious bastard. Any Persians that want spoke? Because, you know, there's a bit of a religious tension around here. Oh, yeah, plenty of Persians. Oh, hey. Dry throat. You have a family. Spoke is yours. Maybe one day I'll make you Chancellor. If you could stop being a chattermouth, that is. But we need good people on the council, and unfortunately, we're giving it to people on the council. And the domain is too big, which will have it settled right now, since the war is winding down, so... Chats will give that away. Since I am voting for my brother here, one votes for himself, and Peros, uh, yes, oh, the, uh, Tarkun says, the, the other brother. Now, why do you say that? But, I do not care who you marry. At least she has a matrilineal marriage, so, it's alright, so. 
I will give you touch. I mean, it's pretty lonely up there. It's what Mother once uh, said. Since I lived there for a time before my brother became the sh uh, my father became the Shah, and then he got assassinated. Assassinated, murdered, and which those two will be dealt with. Yeah, we got the armor and the long sword of the Kayani dynasty. The Kulkum of Muhammad is still here, interestingly enough, which I may one day gonna have to have destroyed because we don't want it to fall into enemy hands. So let's just finish this thing. I mean, it's a hardly defendable position. Leave the Buddhists alone. Let's just besiege the area fast and let them wreak havoc. But check the plots. Watch your back. Who's she? Married to hormones because she's a Muslim. Do you have any children? Any syphilitic children? One's ugly. Oh, hell, they're both ugly. Yeah, take her out. For once, I approve. What's my injury medal? Still poor, considerably. And I never became an accomplished squire. There wasn't enough time for it. Almost, come here. No! Oh, you done did it now. Get out of here. We need you to come here and help with the siege. Just come on over here, brother. Help. We can... Look, once we finish this thing, then uh, we'll take care of the rest. And it looks like Kashgar can't beat the peasants. A man must not allow them to live. You'll get yours very soon. You lunatic. Oh, there's a thousand swear words I could say about him. We ought to hurry up. I mean, we can raise more armies again after this whole thing is all settled, said and done. Just surrender now and you'll be spared. Hundred percent. There's the peasants. Her dia is ours, and as of uh, these areas, brother, do something with these, because I ain't got time for this. And wars are still ongoing for him, so we cannot usurp that title he has. Now, here's what's going to happen. Placing the bounty on you. But I cannot place a bounty on him. Okay, one at a time. This may sound like a crazy move. She's got some decent fighting skill. Well, mine is. Huh? And I believe I'm going to do this. So. Okay, I'm back. 
Is it possible to do this? Yes, you can. And there's another guy with a bounty on his head. Huh. Okay, just hold on. I'm really going to do this. Yep, this whole family's gone mad. Parvane? Of course. You're a brave one. Alright, remember this is to the death. If she kills me, Tarkun takes over. Which, by the way, I voted for him. Because I'm the Shah and I make rules here. But he's 13 years old, but... And he's got a headache. We don't know if we can risk that. And he's going for a different education. Which hopefully can bring us some sanity around here. Okay. Ah, she hit me. Hit me in the head. Okay, I'll try to get it center. A duel to the depths coming from then. My target died at the end of the blade. Just as it served, and I will be rewarded. Wealth and glory are mine. So I put the bounty on the head, it's like a bounty board, and I come to take the bounty. So therefore, I killed her. But the problem is, it's like murder close kin. Close kin? Are we somehow in any way related? Huh. Oh yeah, that, that's the one that... Where do they, where do they think this is? You're next. All right. We don't take him to prison. We fight. I increase a little bit of that combat skill now that I'm a novice fighter. As I said. You're next, Saga Rack. I'm gonna do this again. 90 days. Be back on February of next year. We still got a peasant revolt to deal with, so we still need your command. And when that time comes, I will take you off command, and then we start the fight. So, we took out my wife. Killed. I just wonder, what would Tarkun think of me now? I never mind. So, so the she. Oh. <laughs> yep, he's even more mad. Because I killed not only my former wife, but that's his mother. My father died in battle. See, I like him. But I don't like your wife. Now I need to marry somebody else. Somebody young. Because there's just some real bad people out there. Hey, what about those guys up there? The big bad cognate that I'm always paranoid about. Too old. All right, non-aggression. No rush for children. Remember, if I get killed, Tarkun takes over. Man, if Roxana w was around right now, she would slap all of us. Or kill us with her kindness. Alright, we make a little bit of that money from the tannery. While we put the bounty on you. 300 gold. Well, just a moment. Because it's not February yet. Uh, 
and then we'll start arresting the rest. So non-aggression, so they will never invade us since we are boarded with them. Oh, these guys again. If I wanted to help you, maybe, um, Kosro. Oh, wait a minute, I'm Kosro. I'm getting names mixed up. Hey, you got any... Control. Wait a minute, Widow. Aha! But she lives all the way in Sakatra. Go gone. Already married. Lives in another area. It's too bad we can't stop the patrol and just have them married to somebody we, we know. I mean, he'll accept, but I ain't got the much in the way of. Um, Let's offer it right now. Here is Perot. But no non aggression. Because <coughs> these guys are getting bigger and they need to be stopped. They're going to be Hindus and they'll be stronger. Never of keepers of the flame, that's worse. I was worried about what faction? Four. Stop them. Hope you get killed in the front lines, you goof. I'm hosting a dinner for some local dignitaries when the full moon comes into view in one of my windows. Trembling, I excuse myself and hurry up the stairs in my bed chamber while straddling my clothes. I'm completely naked and the guards find me crouched on the balcony, howling on the moon. Oh! Yep, I'm that kind of guy. I'll put the bounty on you in a moment. They killed some people in there. Hope you die! No, he didn't. Alright. I'm taking you off command right now. Right this instant. You've gone too far. Gee, that's all we have? We'll find someone better. Okay, let's end this peacefully. Salty and heretics at it again. Too bad we can't recruit this guy because he's a rebel. Oh, hey, look. They liberated themselves. They're the ones that won the uh, Buddhist uprising over them. No longer tributary to anybody. We made peace with them. But I'll tell you who we're not going to be making peace with. Yo! Look, it would be easy to arrest you. Actually, it would not be easy. Because he was former spy master. And he's, cause he had the intrigue skill for that. I could offer... Okay. Here's what's going to happen. His combat skill. Mine versus his.
you and me, friend. You or me. And also we should put the troops down. Finally, have some rest, and we'll be back in much better strength next time. Alright. I'm going to kick your ass. Let's fight. Ixit Sagarak swings his spear clumsily. The fight's gone on forever. My muscles are beginning to ache. With the reminder of my strength, I thrust my long sword of the Kayani dynasty hard to his chest. The surprise is clear as his face. Um, as, as blood fills his mouth, must have hit something important. I got him. No need for a bounty. Keep the change. Well, I killed your father. How do you like me now? It says murder close kin for, for you. Oh, you'll get over it. Right. Now, let's sort these things out. Because our stewardship skill ain't great. And I'm a lunatic, which doesn't help. That's the reason why I'm voting for my brother here. Don't vote for my children. They're too young. I guess that means you'll probably cast your vote on yourself too. Right. Who else are we going to arrest? Hormos? Oh yeah, we want to assassinate that ugly girl. Ugly one. And this? Trying to do something. Watch out there. Hey, cut that out. We're trying to get better these days. They call you the wise. Good looking. Wise, but a lunatic. It's this other Shaka that we have a problem with. We killed your, um, friend. And, and soon we'll start swinging with the Christian. You haven't created any new vassals, I see. I guess you're keeping those for yourself. For now. So there's a way we can please you a little. Okay. Hey, would you like to be? Very well. How much? Well, I kind of need that prestige because if you need that prestige, a little slightly higher opinion. So. Did your claim, and it's going to be given to him. And he will have a much better opinion of me by pressing his claim. You got it, son. Well, he ain't my son, but you know what I mean. Uh-uh. Summer can. They will bypass the raiders. Remember, watch your back in case if there's a possible assassination against me, but not towards me. We'll have the others arrested soon. No, no one's getting arrested. The problems are dealt with. What kind of tutor? A theologian. How much am I willing to pay? Fifty. Well, I have a relatively young life, I'm in front of my life, sure. Teach me something that I don't know. Oh, I remembered something. A silk trade post. Increase the value and the wealth of, uh, so we can make a bit more money. Need to be battlefield terrain master. 
since we live in different parts of the country these days. Persian Muslim. Wife just died and you decided to come here. If you were a Zoroastrian, then I would most definitely put you as the Mobat, but... Hmm. Oh, well. We'll find something for you. Wait, what's your skill? Ten. Replace it because we know we switch for a bad one. Welcome to the army. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry about that. Now finally join the sandpit after wasting all that time with this madness, which is finally passed. Status quo of China's are harmony and progress are blossoming throughout China under the benevolent rule of of Li Yingzong. New types of precious silks and other wondrous new wares started to flow along the increasingly safe routes of the Silk Road, whose wealth has doubled. All right, we get to make more money. Value the Silk Road is doubled. <laughs> uh, yes, huh? Abundant and rich. But, as we make money, too bad uh, they're isolated. You better open that silk road. I did not realize we're not making any money with the silk. I thought we were this whole time, but I forgot the isolationist policy, meaning the road is closed. Also, what are you doing up there? It ain't, uh, no issue. Why are you besieging this area? We are not at war with you. Oh, wait a minute. It's you guys. Long way round. You serpent, quick! There's only you left. Well, Tarkun, you now get to be the set up or um, fix it. Which means you get to cast a vote. I hope you vote for yourself because I favor you. I don't plan on having any children anytime soon because we just want to have a non aggression pack with these big guys. So we don't want them to invade Sogdiana ever. Also, we wasted a good deal of money for taking that title. He was the only left. One quick holy war would have finished them off completely. Wiped out from them. Since um, predecessors have built defenses recently, at least they will keep them back. For a while, must be leading troops. What the hell am I doing? I'm glad you're still with us, Tarkun of Ragana. Not to be confused with Rudder Tarkun, whom we whom we named after you. You could take this holding, but once we occupy all three, it's a hundred percent by then. And then we gotta get rid of these guys too. Watch your back. Just always paranoid. Now salt these holdings, they're very easy to take. Now let's go deal with the raiders. Well, sorry that I killed your father, but it had to be done. 
Well, don't worry. We're going to give you something which you may um, feel pleased. A little better. But as for that domain size too big, I'm not putting enough effort. In, like, I'm focused on building stuff for here, but not much for this one. So I'm going to give it to some vassal. Get another guy. And whenever the domain size is up, then we ought to get rid of him. There, hopefully things will stabilize a little. Amir Shuja of the Bajanid Amirate. Ah, since you are dead, you're part of Salkiana, but yet you're not in here yet, and you get to choose a vote, and yet you're voting for yourself. You damn fool. And, uh, this one, uh, it's, um, that's you voting for him, because fellow Buddhist, and friend of a father, I assume. Again, it can be explained, it's just, I'll look it up in a moment. Takun votes, I vote for Takun, which... Still have not converted these heretics yet. Yeah, our improves our defenses have not been improved these days, because we've been fighting in a lot of wars and we're finally gonna get a rest. Justice has been served, and we can finally rest and Make some money, I guess. No silk money. Despite like China is having a time of their lives over there. While while the rest of the world don't get what they're having. In three months time. Time to pay up. It's a damn shame we can't help out Karen on their county conquests. So of course they're winning. Well, until she grows up and when you start having children of my own, then hopefully my future children get to marry your children. But I'm still voting for him. Well, not even a non-aggressive pact. Gee, vassalizing you would... That would be a bad idea. Bad. Because I'd rather have them independent. I'd rather see these guys create a large kingdom of Coruscant. Not them. Because that's Shadam of Kabulistan. And it looks like someone's going to get that claim. areas that we can potentially expand but we need to take it easy I recall there's another man with a bounty on his head still Mayor Kosva who is a terrible fighter and he's wounded so one hit could kill him he's trying to surrender I'll accept payment of blood gotcha Made a bit of coin Told you, when he's wounded, that means an easier chance to strike, and then he's dead. Why aren't you voting, son?
Gavi Sardaya. So now, what's with the electors? Like, why is everyone against these three opposing votes against my brother Tarkov here? I mean, he's the only one that's sane. And he's well an end man. So, what do you like about this candidate? You like Hormoz because he's brave, brawny, prestigious, Sogdian. But again, he's he's an evil man, struck by great pox, and he's a stark raven lunatic, and he's too young. Twenty eight is considered too young for you? No. Let's say um uh, Shans, who's all grown up now. And uh And now as for that candidate of his, he doesn't like him, but brave, virtuous, patient, diligent, scholar, pious man. And he's too old. And yeah, he's a foreigner. He's Shaka. You're so dim. And the Ruby man chose to vote for Tarko. Interestingly enough. Dislikes slothful, heathen, old, but Temperate, scarred, soldier, pious, prestigious man. And again, you do not like my candidate, it's because... Okay, you do trust the judgment, right? But do not trust the judgment of a lunatic ruler. It's safer. Only a child. Don't worry, your mind will change. And you definitely do not like the judgment that I made. And you don't like it personally. Well, you... Hear them! Look, you're going to be gone in this world soon. Not just you personally, but your entire country. Whenever our peace deal expires, unless we break it, then we can go get it. But that will cost nearly all of our prestige and would be truce breaker. But lowers all Muslim rulers, even though there's hardly any around here. Just sit back, relax, and make some money. Alright. No need to get all power hungry here. Council is no longer discontent. Kind of reminds me. I never mess with these vassal obligations stuff. I often leave it, especially during my absolute rule. Even the biggest empire, India, when I held in the previous series, did not get that big. I did not mess with these. Look, they'll support one way, but, if, but I would prefer this, but um, they would just not go for that. Hurry up and assassinate that ugly woman, brother. Oh, that's something totally different. I was about to say, hey, you Nestorian Christians, you should go get that piece of land. They're weaker than you are. How'd you pull that off? Huh? Roxana tried to do that many times. Yes, I heard. Rook, yeah. We've been trying to get him for some time, but now that means that um, my sister, should she have children, should she have children, then um, Parthian blood, which will happen at some point in future generations. Air 
everybody's voting for different candidates. But, um, my brother preferably. I see. Stay put. Fighting against raiders is my chance to improve the skills. And speaking of improving skills, it requests a little bit of that military training. Knowing that I've learned some, you know, bounty hunting. Not that guy. No. For once, I'm declining a mission because he's an enemy to Zoroastrianism. And that man can't defend himself, even with mercenaries. Oh, and that's another thing about Roxana. At least she died a champion. Never defeated in any of these duels. You're 15 now. You're gonna be married to a Shaka woman who's homosexual but shrewd. Again, I did not approve of this. That's on you. But since you got negative money, don't be spreading corruption in a near empty place. A near empty country. Part of the country. Glad you're still with us. Hate to lose you. Alright. This one arrives on December 14th. You December 13th. Okay. Yes. Commanders? No commanders. I don't want you all have commanders. We need more cavalry. Raise a little bit more money then. Start spending more on cavalry. No, oh, get a retinue even. Now here's your chance to get more cavalry. We still have that stone quarry, but we don't follow that patron base anymore. And our steward's not that good because he wanted to be on the council. So therefore, not to mention envious, but it's just the worst. Why aren't you the member of your um, monastic society? I mean, this is your... Well, despite the fact you lack learning skills, but wouldn't you do something good for your little community? And you do well for yourself, then maybe you can get rid of those sinful traits so you can learn... How to stop being envious. I would much prefer you to be of that. It'll be good for everyone. Now, anyways. Step riding grounds. Improve it. So let's talk strategy, shall we? Hopefully we'll talk religion one day. We'll get along. Hopefully I'll become sympathetic to Christians and soon become sympathetic towards Buddhists. And finally the majority of this population is Zoroastrian. More heresies driven out. Now we're doing you a favor, Talkun. Just got married, huh? No stress. And you've taken up theology, but then again, you're a man of learning. Oh, by the way, what's your other skills on? Hmm. Well, as long as you know.
Yeah, you're at peace. You lost your county. But remember, we will still support you. Hey. Not possible, but... No on both political concerns. And I wish we could have a non-aggression pact so we can protect you from such matters. But no, you're scared of big bad Sogdiana. That's their whole lord they sent. Uh-oh. And, and these guys do real well in this area. Oh, that's hills. But still, the cavalry is something they should be feared with. Position yourselves here. While we go pick up the rest. I mean, we're not allowed to go to war, but we just raise our levies when there's raiders about. And hopefully fight their commanders so their skills can be improved. From one Buddhist to another. You'll get over it in a few years' time. Do not conspire against me. Or there's going to be hell to pay. Just like your father. I'm starting to think about Santa's idea of a multicultured um, signing you a guardian. Maybe, maybe Roxana's idea of a syncretic multicultural Sogdiana could be a bad idea after all. But then again, it's just we've been meeting some envious people around. Oh, stop, damn it. You just wait for us. Wait your turn. We will get him. Picked up Brave. Good. Don't tell me he's born separate. A genius! But not that name. That name is tainted in my mind. Korush. Korush. That's the Sogdian spelling of Cyrus. Cyrus the Great. Yeah. Fitting name. Very fitting. Hopefully one day you'll be the ruler. If the council and the satraps are willing to elect someone because the genius is a very good candidate you know that's the only holding they have and the defenders are holding on at least you have your defenses Still with us, Tarkon. We'll be there before they rampage the place. And Kashgar defenders will be there too. We've delayed them. What am I? I'm, uh, ambitious. Alright. I've always wanted to be better. Hmm. 
my troops are performing with excellence, and my chest is swelling with pride as we keep pressing forward. I turn back to answer the call of a soldier nearby when suddenly there's a sharp pain in my hand. Gritting my teeth, I hear the enemy shouting, Stay down, you paranoid jester! And of our Catholic. Out of patience and stress. I'll do it myself. The sun is beginning to set when I'm meant with uh, Terradin. My long sword of the Kayani dynasty ready. He clumsily dodges one attack. The next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man covers, uh, attempts to cover his injured leg. Rarely have I seen so much blood. Why aren't you begging for mercy? Get out of the country. We saved Kashgar from being looted. All the way. Anyone else? No? I may be a crazy person, but at least I'm at least I'm doing what's right for the country. So foremost, in birth to the genius nephew. Very good. But has my sister been impregnated by this Persian man? Another envious guy, but you two will get along. And hopefully get that Parthian bloodline. So we can... Ah, I got the... That's for future plans. If the country holds together. Because there's some people that want Sogdiana for themselves. Like my brother here. Or my cousin. But I can tell you this, <laughs> in the next episode, um, well, let's just try to keep this country together before all hell breaks loose. But give it two years time, and I think, uh, relations will improve. While I'll try to be more sympathetic towards Christians and Buddhists as much as I can, if time allows. And we hope you allow yourselves to join us on the next episode. Till then, so long for now.